Well, hi, everyone. Uh, this is the New England Racing Show, Channel 23, Manchester Community TV, and also on YouTube, and I'm your host, Bill Sturgis. Well, thanks for joining us for another week of uh, racing. We had more tape that we wanted to show you from Lee's Oktoberfest, where they had 325 cars. So uh, there was so much tape, it lasted a few weeks which is great because now racing's over pretty much and uh, we still have some to show you from Lee we have uh, the two hobby stock features they had 40 cars show up so what they did was they split them in half and they had 20 cars in each feature so we're at feature number one here just starting and as they took the green there was a big accident uh, fortunately, everyone was able to drive away. Uh, the pole car got loose, went into the grass, and uh, everyone behind them stacked up and started a chain reaction. So we have a quick yellow. And we're going to do another, try another start. For the Jim Story out in front. I think these two hobby stock features were part of the best racing for the whole weekend. I mean, there was battles all the way through the pack. That's what you want to see is some good side-by-side -side racing and the hobby stocks uh, really provided that. I think they had cars from Star Speedway. Uh, maybe Seekonk, Beach Ridge. They were from all over. And I think Lee tries to accommodate them. They, they'll let them run their own tracks rules as long as they don't have an unfair advantage over uh, everyone else. That's what makes the Oktoberfest such a great show. Saturday uh, of the Oktoberfest, we had a persistent drizzle. And it was cold and uh, washed out a lot of the qualifying heats but Sunday proved to be real nice and they got all the racing in and 
Huntington St. Lee is just such a beautiful track. It's one of the premier tracks in New Hampshire. And we don't say that just because we raced here, but we've been, we've been around and I think we visited pretty much every track except uh, went up in Wentworth Legion Speedway, a uh, dirt track. We didn't make it up there. But uh, we went to a lot of the other ones, Star, Manadnock. Uh, we didn't make it to White Mountain, unfortunately. But even those tracks are pretty nice, too. But this place is just so clean and well-kept. It's just a nice place to race. One of the only drawbacks at Lee is that it's concrete walls all the way around. And uh, we're going to work with the management this next year to see if we can get the uh, big, whoop, the big foam blocks that they use at Oswego Speedway uh, up against the walls in the corners so that if you go into the wall, you won't uh, total your car and, and get hurt. The blocks are four feet high, four feet deep, and eight feet wide. So if you line the corners with those blocks, uh, it makes it a lot safer to race. So we're, we're trying to figure out a way to do that without management having to pick up the tab, uh, spread it out among the racers or car owners. Unfortunately, Lee, uh, Lee, New Hampshire's Board of Selectmen don't look very favorably upon racing, especially the chairman, who's a professor at UNH. And uh, they really give the track a hard time. They, they just can't see that the track is an asset to the town, not a liability. I don't know, maybe they think that uh, we're all a bunch of hillbillies that do this, but that's certainly not the case. A lot of people have their own businesses and work very hard, and this is their, this is their hobby. Some people like to play golf or tennis, and uh, we like to race. There's nothing wrong with that. Good side-by-side -side action here. White flag. One more lap. Oh, somebody just spun out in turn four. Usually it's somebody from, not from our track that, that ends up doing that. They're not familiar with the, uh, with everything. But he got going. No, they didn't. This is uh, heat uh, feature number two. They had to run them all off one after another. I, I don't remember if they did a victory lane celebration here, but uh, a lot of the features, they didn't have that, because especially later in the day, like the uh, NEMA midgets and NEMA lights, they didn't have victory lanes for them. Just kept running the races.
somebody's leaking something or a tire is rubbing there. That last car in that group. In the infield there is all the Valente modified cars. They had already run their feature. And they're uh, packing up and leaving. We'll be showing their feature next week. Cloud in the sky. <laughs> oh, there's a couple. I'll tell you, the season went by really fast. It seems like uh, just a few months ago that they did their opening day with the ACT tour, and Governor Hassan was there as the honorary starter and passed out trophies. That was back in the uh, beginning of April, seven months ago. Why are the winters so long and the summers so short? I don't know. Sixteen. Two to go.
white flag. Here comes the checkered flag from Steve Grant. And there's your winner. I think he said Keith Grant. One of the outsiders. Okay, and here's the uh, small block super modified feature. Pay attention here. They didn't even make it into the first turn. I don't know. We have a small block super. We didn't we didn't bring it this week, uh, just for that reason. There's a lot of new drivers. People come out that haven't been out all year, and that's the result. Is a, a lot of accidents, and we didn't feel like getting caught up in any of those. On the pole is a two of Tony Carroll. He wiped out his uh, other car halfway through the season in turn two. So he picked this car up. Uh, kind of an outdated car, not quite as fast, but you know, great for him to be out there again. He got banged up pretty good, and it's nice to see he's recovered. So he's in second. There's a uh, side-by-side, Sparky MacGyver on the inside, the 22. And I think that's Tommy Tombarello. Yep, just past Sparky. Tommy's the uh, track champ at Lee this year. And that's the Whitcomb 21 car. That Wayne Hellowell drove. Oh, another spin out. That is the, uh, I think it's the 33. We call him, we call him Santa Claus, good naturedly. <laughs> the guy looks just like Santa Claus. He's about 60 years old, white hair and beard. But he's out there racing, so we'll hand it to him. Santa's got a super. That's what he needs to uh, make the rounds in time. There's uh, Mike Sperling in first place. Tommy right behind him. Gets him on the inside. Mike left the door open a little bit. And there's Tommy to take full advantage of it. And uh, Sparky MacGyver right behind Mike. So it's first, second, and third. Sparky's an old timer. Been racing a long time and he's one of the people you can really trust to run side by side with. They give you room and uh, battle you every step of the way. And I gotta hand it to Mike Sperling too. This has been a great year for him. He uh, won a feature, and he's made tremendous strides. Uh, he, he didn't start driving until a few years ago. I guess he used to run drag, do drag racing, which is quite a bit different than this. But this year, he's really come into his own. His car's gotten really fast, which means he knows how to set it up, and he's become a pretty good driver and a tough competitor. Uh, you don't just pass him anymore. He, he's passing you sometimes. There's Tony Carroll in the front, Les Kaiser in the 27 right behind him. Les is a fast car too. He's another one that's really, really developed into a good driver and a good setup man too. 
So I think he takes fourth now from uh, Tony. And that's Mike Nettishan just passing Tony on the outside, the 55. So he's giving chase to Les Kaiser. He's just passing Tony now. Mike uh, finished second in the point standings. I think he won three features this year. Okay, there's Sperling in the front. Sparky chasing him. I think they just passed a lap car. And Mike's holding Sparky off pretty well. Right there behind Tony is Ryan Gath's car, the seven. He had somebody else driving it uh, that day, first time in the Super. And they seem to be doing pretty well. That's the old uh, Danny Bose car that was a track champion a few years ago. Behind him, I think that's the 43 car. Another new one. There's Mike Sperling, the silver car with the 61. Sparky still chasing him. And Les Kaiser behind him. Another yellow flag for a spin out in turn two. Right there behind the trailer. Is that? Is that Tony Carroll? I'm not sure. Lap 21, I believe out of 30. Here we go in the restart. Five cars spinning out. Four there, and there's one in the wall. And, uh, Bob Yurko is gonna, uh, give me five car. There's uh, the 55 of Mike Nettishan. And, of course, Skip's towing right there on the scene. Kyle Sawyer moving into the no hesitation on Skip's part. We like to pick on Skip, but he's been around for over 30 years. Another guy whose whole life is racing. He also uh, collects the old vintage cars and was here with the Star uh, Senior Tour Auto Racing. It was nice to see all those old cars show up and put on a uh, display. There's Mike Sperling, Sparky, and Les Kaiser again. And Tommy, Tom Borello's checked out in the 61 car. One of the reasons that car is so fast is uh, that's Eddie Whitcomb and his brother Bobby who own the car. And Eddie Whitcomb was a uh, super driver from the 70s and early 80s. And he really knows what he's doing. Uh, they, they know how to set up a super. They used to run the Big Block series at Star Review. We're not showing Tommy because he's checked out. He's all by himself. We're trying to show you the race for second here.
Wes couldn't quite couldn't quite get up to Sparky. Series looks good for next year, the small block series. There's Tommy. And second place. And third. That's it. There was a little victory lane here. Sparky. That's Pete Falcone, the announcer. He's also the announcer for uh, Nima Midgets. And here's Tommy Tomborello, the winner. I put them through hell for uh, the past four weeks that we had off, taking a motor out, doing all times, types of crazy things that I got in my head, and uh, all the hard work paid off. I gotta thank Scott Sherborne, uh, Wickham Florin, at Harrington Paven, uh, Bobby and Eddie Wickham, and I gotta thank my wife for being here all weekend, for up my crap, my whole, my whole team. I gotta thank the fans, Red and Judy. Um, got, a, got an awesome team here. Uh, well, that's it. It's Tommy Tomborello, the track champion of Lee. Uh, he's going down to NASCAR, uh, the NASCAR banquet in Charlotte, North Carolina in December, uh, being the NASCAR track champion. And uh, my son Jake Sturgis that races a small block was NASCAR Rookie of the Year for New Hampshire. Out of the NASCAR tracks in New Hampshire, he had the most points. So we're going down there also. Hopefully we'll get to tape some of that, the NASCAR banquet. They're going to have the Rookie of the Years from all 50 states and track champions from all the NASCAR tracks. So that should be quite a night. Uh, next week we're going to show the Valente Modified Series race from Lee Speedway's Oktoberfest. And then we're going to uh, tape some of the banquet and uh, Lee's banquet and show you that where everybody got their trophies and honors. So we still have some racing and uh, racing related stuff and we're just going to keep finding more and more to give you. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week.